I've taken a set of bellows out of a Techniques 1506 reel-to-reel -reel deck. The center bellows had an issue. It had actually come right off of the, the bottom plate that comprises the valves. Now someone had oiled these at some point, which I think contributed to the failure. The other two, pretty much perfect. So this one is good. Nice sharp edges. The seams are good. The edges of the bellow, no cracks. It's just what you want to see. This one's bad. This is the one that had come off. You'll see here in a moment. There's a slight seam split on one end of these. The bellows edges all look good. Even the bottom of this bellows look good. But it's bad. Check it out right there starting to split and you can see it sitting up a bit there's a close-up the edge is wavy the seam is starting to split that's where it had come off this one's good this is the third one nice and flat Good seams. Close up again. Both ends good. There's the other good one. So let's take the valve apart. Now there's a couple videos on YouTube about flipping this valve over. I don't see it. I've never seen one that's not flat, but I have seen them elongated, where the holes stretched a bit. And my thought is if you were to flip it around 180 degrees, you're gonna have a good seal again. Uh, so maybe that's it, or maybe I just haven't come across one that's cupped or, or, or weak. They all seem pretty much the same to me. Let's give it a wash. So these are oily inside. You can just see the sheen on the washer there. I'm not sure if you saw it on the bellows itself. Uh, perhaps some previous owner thought maybe a little oil would help the machine work better. But in this case, no. The oil on the bellows is probably going to make it come off uh, or, or just not operate properly. Uh, you can actually see uh, in the water, it's uh, got a slight film color to it. Uh, there's a drop of dishwashing soap and some warm water. I just do it in a bag so I don't lose the stuff. Uh, I rinse it off. Now I'm just laying it out to dry. I did this with all, well, two. I threw one away. So you can see that uh, washer type flap, that black on, on the left hand side. It's got the elongated hole. I'm going to toss that one. Uh, we're just about to see the close up of it. Two good ones and the one bad one. So there you go. There's the electro, uh, elongated one. Two good ones. And I can't tell which uh, direction they were in. I'm just randomly putting them back. Uh, doesn't seem to be any difference to me. this back together you got to make sure that the nut is centered around the larger washer and that little small washer you saw me put in earlier it of course has to be there this uh, metal washer sits inside the, the plate all designed to make a, a, a 
valve that uh, creates just the right pressure to act as a so shock absorber. It's good. So nice and flat, and just keep a little tension on it, screw it back in. There you go, Bob's your uncle. Two good ones, toss the bad one. I'm sure somebody out there could use the two good ones. You're likely to have uh, at least one good one in the ones that you're taking out. This should do you what you need. The bellows, they sit tightly on, tightly on this. This was nice and clean. I had thought about putting a little cornstarch in there. It looks like some of the other ones I've taken apart have a little bit of powder, that white powder you, you put inside that things like this to keep them dry. Two excellent bellows. Hopefully this makes sense to someone 